time I found out about it, uh, looking in internet for some camps, for some volunteer camps for uh, people under 18. There weren't much of them, and, and then I found uh, National Trust for Scotland's camps. It's outdoorsy and it's interesting, and you're actually accomplishing something. And that's one of the reasons why I'm here. I found out about this because my dad was on a summer camp to this and he told me about it. My friend dragged me into this, um, but she knew I was interested in like biology and stuff and we both want to do similar things at uni, so we thought it'd be quite good. Cheeks' dad, um, he, he's involved in this. He said, do you want to come on this with me? I was like, yeah, sure, um, sounds good. Then we researched it and here I am. I say that. Yeah, I, I found out because my brother did this a couple of years ago. We've been up the hill three times. The, the journey up was tough. It's quite steep and you have to be really fit. Or quite, I have a reasonable amount of fitness to climb up it. I'm not a type of person who likes constructing or, uh, or doing a technical job. So I, I, I was really happy that I could uh, carry some stuff. <laughs> We had four seasons in half an hour. It's been hard work, but it's been worth it. I enjoyed making a fence, that was quite exciting. <laughs> um, never done that before, so <laughs> it's good. I've obviously like, learned how to use all these different tools, like, um, what are those red ones called? Like a, uh, a fencing. Yeah, I know what you mean, fencing pliers. Fencing pliers, yeah, I learned how to use fencing pliers, uh, pole drivers. Things like that. All the leaders have been so really nice and helpful and kind. Like the conservation work was so different to what I thought it would have been. I wasn't exactly sure what to expect, and it, it was it was good. So yeah, the range is nice, good to work with. And like Alistair knows all his like yeah tools, knows everything about the tools. Just does it, which is pretty. Also very good at motivating you. Yeah. Like, because since we're novices, we're not doing like, the best job, but it's like you're doing well work, and yeah. tells you that. We cut down a tree each. Mm -hmm. That was quite hard. Lots of images. Mm -hmm. And they were sticky. Mm -hmm. So it was. We got yellow, we got orange vests. Yes! <laughs> um, that which was made cool. us feel very official. And then we were helping everyone else like reconstruct the crook house and that was that was quite fun got into like a rhythm teamwork teamwork the sawing was good fun finally figured out how to do that properly but i didn't really know how to saw properly like i did but it was so old jag it kept on getting stuck but i think it's become more a fluid motion than it was i like doing that because um we got to work with saws and um kind of things we hadn't used up on doing the fence because that had been a bit more manual this was a bit more kind of using your hands a little bit uh, using the shears stuff like that yeah it was nice to like build a like a house without using your sort of you know modern like your drills and all of that stuff so it was like a nice sort of experience <laughs> building stuff sort of a bit more like traditionally, yeah, I guess you know, that would be the word, yeah. Like, yeah, with, you know, your saws, your, your draw knife. So far, this has been well, it's almost over, but this has been amazing. It's a really good experience and it changes your mind about sort of conservation work. We finished the fence, I thought that was a really good accomplishment. We could finally uh, see three days of work uh, come to light. Yeah. Um, and that was just a good sense of achievement, I think everyone yeah, it looks good. put effort in. Yeah, it looks good. It's pretty pro. I didn't really know before coming here we were going to be doing some of the John Muir Award. But I think, so that's obviously like a, a plus, like something for the CV. Yes, I think. But um, it's been fun, like just learning a lot of things about somebody that I didn't, like I knew of but didn't really realise how influential he'd been and like nature and conservation and us being able to kind of carry that along has been really, really nice. I think that we are learning all the time uh, from uh, each other, from the 
nature from the things that uh, the leaders tell us from everything. Definitely. I didn't really realize like when you said history trail like how detailed it was going to be and how knowledgeable like Fraser was on it was really really interesting. And like you could see like the generations of settlements and that was that was really quite it was really cool because you would have walked past it if you didn't know. I learned a lot, but I can't remember the names of the plants. <laughs> a lot of the plants you I would recognize, but like mm -hmm. hadn't known the names. Like hairbells or meadowsweet. And we learned <laughs> that a lot of plants are very useful. Fraser just knows everything. Yeah. He's that, just like he seems to know so everything like, about the animals. knowledgeable. And he's got a cool dog. I love that thing. It's hard to believe that um, the week's over, really, or nearly over. It's been a good week. We've done some good work. Our wee house over there is looking a lot better than it did. And um, yeah, the stock fence up in Tarmigan at the 400 metre mark, it's, it's going to make a big difference in the coming years. Uh, the young trees are going to get a chance to, to grow away and yeah, they'll grow straight and tall. I would say that this how Scotland looks like made me feel to come back to, 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 to the other camp. I had a lot of reasons for coming here, but you wouldn't really need them. But like, I know it would be more difficult to prompt people to come on this if there weren't things like DAV and John Muir. I didn't know what to expect, but I didn't expect this. So it was really good fun. I really enjoyed myself. Everything's just been like nice. And like everyone's so enthusiastic about everything and like willing to actually help. And helpful, yeah. Yes. It's a really good experience and um, it's definitely worth it. You get involved much more with nature, which is really good. I'd say definitely come along. Yeah. Um, you'll meet new people, do things you can't do um, at home and have a great experience. Yeah, I feel like really happy with how much I've improved and how much my confidence has improved. And I'm hoping that it stays like this and I can take this on into sixth year and job interviews and stuff like that. I think that it has been one of the best experiences of my life and I, I think that it's a good experience that everyone wants to try. I've loved this and hope to stay in touch with everyone and possibly do it again, I don't know. We'll see in the future. <laughs> like, you have to be prepared to like, be doing stuff all the time which is, but it's actually a really, really good experience to like get take a week out, like a step back from everything and just kind of like learn, learn a lot of things and probably get a bit fitter while you're at it.